friends and fellow students my name is ashok sikala in this session we learn the encode and decode a string in c language so let us start first share my laptop screen and fix the position here so you can watch better way my video lecture and here for c++ i double click and take some process and now yes that is open alter f file menu take a new file and here our goal write a program to convert given string in and code and decode so yes that is our definition and code and decode so that is a we have to convert given string in and code and decode so yes first we have to understand what is and code and decode so let us take one example so that is a like your or input like just we can take hello so that is an example input process and output so that is my technique so here like hello that is a first only one word you can take all string but that is a simple example so that now our output so first that is a like we can enter also key value so like we can give a, here our key value is a 2 so that is a string converting first that is a encode so encode answer is that you can say that is uh, h2 plus that ascii value so h j convert and g yes and then 2l so n uh, and then again that is a q so that is our answer and then uh, decode answer is same hello world means hello or hello what you can also enter so that is our goal so let us check so that is a you can enter one string or here i just give the example one word and then we can key value so that is a two so that is our encode answer and that is our decode answer so encoded and decoded that is you can also say that so encode and decode so like uh, password we have to encrypt and decrypt so that type of uh, concept we can apply in c language so let us start so we can first include our header file stdio.h and then we can say that on your console input output dot h and then void main and now what to do so here first we can take some character and that is our original string so first that is i take 50 you can also use dynamically string malloc and free or calloc and free so you can watch in my youtube channel dynamic string so how to scan and print and here we can take as a static array 1d array or one dimensional array so that is a and now what to do so here we can say that and port that uh, 50 and then decode that 50 so that is a we can recognize and code and decode that is our name and now we can take e that is integer and i that is our counter variable so clear the screen yeah and now first we can scan yes so here uh, we can say that enter original string or enter one string that type of message so that is our main uh, string and here we can use scanf you can also use as a get as function so scanf function also include i mean scan with the white space blank space so that is a uh, bracket upon sign uh, yes the bracket is old upon slash n and then close so that is a and here there is no require m person sign so that is a nm itself is address so we cannot uh, address of address yes and now what to do so we can take a one key value so here we can say that enter key of encrypt 
encryption so enter the encryption that we can give suggestion one uh, two five yes so that is a better you can give range so that is a better enter key of encryption one to five and then now we can scan so we can guideline to user which way you can enter from key so that is a scan and now we can that is our input is complete so one string original and key value and now we can convert the n code so we can take one for loop yes so, so i equal to zero and then str of i uh, not equal to null and then i plus plus so that is a perfectly and now what to do so we can uh, first convert n uh, coded of i yes and then our original string of i and plus our key value so that is encoded and then after uh, that we can copy to any string so here that is a uh, our original string plus key value that is a copy in encode that is a string of one dimension array so that is our responsibility we can take as a null value so every string terminate we get null so you have to know so here we can take as a null after copy yes and now we can print yes so that is a print so let us check so we can say that uh, uh, n coded string is and percentage s and then uh, we can print our n coded yes so n code or that you can give the n coded yes that is a message so yes n code and decode so that perfectly and now what to do same thing yes i copy and paste so that we can decode it so get our original string so that what to do so yes that loop is same but uh, that is a we can change our for loop so here we can provide not our original string that is a uh, both are same but uh, here we can use n coded of i not equal to and here we can provide as decoded so yes uh, that is a decoded and here that is a minus and which from so that is a encoded yes so that is a perfectly and now here also we can use as a decoded so that we can uh, take as a null value so after copy so here is a plus in encode and original string in encode uh, of string or one dimensional array and here decoded or uh, encoded minus key value so that is a uh, getting the original and that and here yes here we can also change so decoded yes and here message also change so that is a uh, decoded yes so all is well so let us check so that is our complete logics all very simple and now uh, you can also give some short name but uh, like uh, en str that type of also you can encode string and decode string so now i can save this file so we can say that uh, uh, encode and decode underscore string so en and dn yes dn so string dot c so that we can understand and compile so yes here okay so that is a remaining st yes so that is a type mistake so yes that other let us check anywhere type mistake I compile yes there is no in error so yes here remaining the t only so now perfect no in error and now let us check we can give hello that is our example we have to solve so give the key value two so you can look yes j q n n and uh, j j g n n q so that is a convert again hello so that is a encode and decode now we can give any value so let us yes uh, our example yes that is a j g n n q 
so we can solve two key value you can give any so now let us check hello uh, f5dcsm1 student yes that type of that is a 15 up to and we can solve the like i again give the two that encrypt and key so you can look that is a yes so that is a encrypt uh, encoded and decoded so that is the original string hello fy sam one student so perfectly you can scan any string so that is encode and decode so like is a password that is encrypt and decrypt so that is a very important so that type of conversation in one key mixing to our original string and whichever no that uh, user that key code that is a decrypt that uh, key uh, means that uh, password so that type very simple logic i use so encode and decode so that is a very helpful to in any simple software so you can mixing this type of original string and pass to your uh, end user and then you can also supply that key value so that is a minus and then get the original string so the unauthorized user not access to your original string so that is a benefit for uh, security yes so now i think very useful concept what is encode and decode string we can apply simple logic in c language so that is a we can key value one to five yes here i directly give like hello or so hello and we can say that uh, word hello world yes and now i can give like three uh, that key encrypt so you can look that type of that is a not understand other user so hello world or any password you can security and that convert that end user getting original that password or that meaning of that string so yes you can scan any one to five key yes that is we can come uh, that giving the range so we can easily identify but you cannot give the range in real software so yes that is a perfectly so only one two key person know that is a encode and decode so very important concept security point of view and here we can apply in c language so write this program to in your key notebook and regarding any question of this concept or any definition in c language you can write in comment section i give the definitely to answer you now i can close alter f3 function key so close this file and quit so subscribe my channel ashok sijal academy press the bell icon to never miss any update and thanks for your watching supporting and sharing my video lecture and hari krishna